Hey guys, it's Jonathan with Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, you have a Chevy 150 Business Coupe. This is a full-on frame-off restored car with a brand new GM crate motor. For full information, please be sure to look down below. Also, be sure to like and subscribe because that brings you more content. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with the front fascia of this beautiful 150. This is a total frame off rotisserie restored car. What I want you to do is look underneath the car to see how beautiful it actually is and we'll show you a couple pictures right now. Yeah. I'm gonna start off with the chrome. Chrome is very expensive to do on anything like this, especially the 150, the 250 and the Bel Airs. But look at how nice that front end is. All of your emblems are great. Your two pieces here and your T3 bulbs are in excellent condition. Everything works on the car. You've got a nice crest and then let me pop the hood. You even have the tags on it, on the engine. Look at how nice that is. Uh, aluminum radiator that looks like the original. And then I want you to start looking at all the nut nuts and bolts while we walk around it. Everything is replaced. And what's pretty neat, I, I haven't seen this recently, is someone took the time to make the overfill with a, with like a, a hard line and they bent it through the hole. That's unreal. Normally this is like plastic. That's a nice attention to detail. Brand new battery because this was finished in February of 2019. Engine bay is extremely clean. I like how they did the black filter. Uh, it's a 327 crate motor and you have a brand new alternator as well. I have receipts for these pieces. All the wiring is brand new, and then look at the hood, the top of the hood, look at how nice it is. Steering's really easy. Transmission is out of a Corvette, out of a 69 Corvette. It's actually pretty fun to drive. Let me close it. All your bright work and rubber is brand new. You can see that the trim throughout here is very clean. This is not, this is original. And then the wipers work as they should. When you close the hood, it's even throughout. Uh, fenders look great. And then when you start to crawl inside the wheel wells, look at how nice that is. You can see all the fresh bolts. It wasn't just uh, lipstick and rouge, which is what you'll normally see on these cars. So the paint is called Tropical Turquoise with India Ivory as the breaker and it looks perfect. It originally was uh, gray with tropical turquoise and I think this is a really good choice. <laughs> Look at how nice all this is. All the weather stripping is brand new and it looks right. You can see that they took everything apart before they painted it. Passenger side sun visor has been deleted from the factory which is very interesting. And then when you look throughout it you can see that the seat belts have been added. The gauge pod is in excellent condition and the heat actually works. It's pretty neat because the light inside there illuminates. So I'll show you that when we go for the test drive. I opened the glove box up so you can see how nice all the hardware is. You can see the Chevrolet insignia with the India ivory placards for the radio delete. When you look in the rear, you're gonna notice that there's no back seats. This was essentially the hot rod of the 50s. So Kids would get this and, and soup them up and make them go fast. All the bright work on the outside is very nice, along with on the glass in the rear. You can see those beautiful dog dishes. A little bit of pitting on here because they're original, and I kind of like that. Gives it a little bit of an effect. All this perfect metal, then you have a little bit of uh, imperfection on the wheels. Rear bumper is in excellent condition. No pitting, no marks at all. And then where's the gas cap? There it is. Comes out nice. ASMR. Let me get the keys and I'll open up the trunk for you while you take a look at the rear. I want you to start off with the top of this trunk and see that everything's been replaced. All new weather stripping as well. And then I want to pull this up so you can see. We're going to include a placard for your next car show, so this will give you all the information. Um, it's great. It's a great conversation piece. It'll kind of give people that are walking around the car show more information on it. It does have a spare tire, and you can see the seat delete back there with all new hardware. Uh, you've got your uh, jack and tire, um, your lug nut tool, and the placard here. 
extremely clean. Passenger side looks just like the driver's side. Oh, I see what's going on. You can't close it on the rubber. I didn't sit in the front of the school bus. <laughs> <laughs> so the passenger side looks really good. Uh, all the trim looks just like the driver's side. You can see the exhaust protruding from both sides. It does have dual exhaust. There's the dog dish caps again. I'm gonna open up the passenger side door so you can see how nice it is. And there's no rust or rot. It is fully restored. Let me start it up too while you're looking at that passenger side fender. It fires up like that every time. Let me get in the back so you can hear how nice the exhaust is. Remember, this is a GM crate motor with a three year warranty. And that was just put in the car earlier this year. So I don't know what else you can ask for when you're looking for something that's gonna be a cruiser. Let's jump in and go for a ride. We're inside the car right now. You can see that the steering wheel is straight. Uh, minor scratch is just from rings on it. Oh, the horn's down here. <laughs> I'm sorry, pretty neat. Uh, originally was a shift uh, three on the column and now it's a four speed from a Corvette on the floor. You can see that heat light illuminating, which is really neat. All your gauges are working, temperature's working. We just went out and took some photos of it. Your lights work as they should. Those are T3 bulbs. And then uh, for your windshield wipers, windshield wipers are working as they should. I'm gonna go ahead and push the clutch in and put it in reverse. So how to do that is you're gonna go like this, push it over and up, just like 60s Corvette. You're gonna to wanna to pause now because it's about to get crazy. We're gonna go down Ravenswood right now. This car has 117 miles on the full restoration. I'm looking at the odometer, it shows 117 miles on the restoration, and that's real deal. That's what they finished this thing earlier this year, um, and then we were able to acquire it. Right now, we're going through the gears with no issues. Clutch feels good. We're in fourth, nice and smooth. It's actually really nice to drive. The exhaust sounds nice and throaty. And then uh, these vents, you, you unlock them and you can actually open them up. That's your air conditioning. What I'll do is I'll turn right here. I can hear my turn signal indicator working. We're in second. Turn our turn signal off. Feels really good. Shifts are really easy. Sounds unreal. It's a nice cruiser. So I've got my left turn signal going on here and you can see it illuminating. Push the clutch in. Clutch is pretty easy. It's kind of springy, but it's not too bad. It goes in the first gear with ease, doesn't pop out, so I can pull the clutch out. No slipping, no chattering. I don't really want to be flooring this motor because it only has 118 miles on it, so we're just gonna drive it normally. I recommend 500 miles as the break-in and then swap out the oil and you'll be good to go. It's a good runner. If you have any questions about this specific car, give us a call 954-363-2261. Have a great day.